What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, and guys, I got another great video for you today, and it is the best players to take at level 75 and level 1 silver, pretty much level 100. Guys, believe me, the players I'm going to show you are going to be the best players to pick. Believe me, it's just going to help your team. You don't want to pick up any of the bums. And let's get into it. Let's start off with this dude right here. Don't even know who the hell he is. Would I take him? No. And I'm going to tell you why I would not take him. Okay. If you have contact and you have vision, but you have no power and no speed, you're no good in this game. If you have contact, you want to have speed. He has no speed. He's going to get on base and get thrown out. You don't want him. Nah. I'm going to skip Matt Kemp. I'm going to skip Matt Kemp. I'm going to tell you why. Ralph Kiner is very good. I would... Uh, he's not a bad take. I would take him. There's better options, but he's not bad. His fielding is atrocious. He has common fielding. No. Jason Giambi, I would not take. He's not that good against power lefties. Contact their vision there. He's slow, and he's not the best fielder. I would not take him. There's better options. Next, we got Johnny Bench. Okay. There's so many better options in this card. His power is good. His contact is not good. His vision's decent for the diamond. Fielding's there. The speed isn't. The stealing isn't. There's better options. I would not take him. Go pick up Josh Donaldson. Very similar card. There's better options. Okay. So, we got Kershaw. I would recommend him, but in my opinion, I would not take any starters. I, wouldn't, I just wouldn't take any starters because... You get a one out of five chance to take a starter. Hmm. Why would I just have a batter that's on the field at all times? It makes more sense to me. Maybe if you really have lack of starting pitching and you want that 99 in your lineup, I would take them. But nah, there, you could just go pick up like Chris Sale for 30k. It's a very similar card. Actually, throws harder than Kershaw. That's not bad. Nolan Ryan 99. Another one I would not say to pick up. The same thing as Kershaw. I mean, it's a 99 overall pitcher, but one out of five chance. If you're on rake seasons, you don't get them. Let's say you have 199 in your whole bowl, in your whole starting rotation. There's one out of five chance. If you have a bunch of goals, it's like, it's, there's no, I just would say no. And we got Trevor Hoffman. See, this is something interesting. We got a closer, but honestly, I wouldn't take this card either. Just because like... His heater isn't that fast. He has very good pitches, but like you could go get Chapman who throws 100 or Hicks. You get a bronze Jordan Hicks who throws 102, and it's extremely hard to hit like heat in this game. So I wouldn't take him. I would just go get Jordan Hicks 73, throws heat. That's what I would do. And guys, my favorite one in it is Matt Kemp, and I'm gonna tell you why. First of all. He's just beautiful all around. The vision is not there, but I don't care. I have Okuna. He has the same vision as him. Last game I played with on rank season, he had two home runs and a triple off the wall. So, vision, I, it matters, but look at the stats, bro. He got the speed. He got the stealing. He got the fielding. He's got everything. He's got the clutch. He got the power. He's got the contact, yo. I'm taking this card 75. And I have no shame about taking this card. I'm a huge Matt Kemp fan. He's freaking a beast. He used to mop the Mets all the time. I love Matt Kemp. One of my favorite cards in the game. I, I'm so excited to get him. I'm so excited. And guys, let's head over to 100. And then I'm also going to go on an overview on why these cards I'm showing you aren't good. Oh, wait. Let me go over Ichiro quick. I don't think I go. I didn't go over Ichiro. It's good, but... Ricky Henderson is very similar to this card. And Ricky Henderson's like 15K. Okay, what I've noticed in this game is that contact is so botched because contact hitters, they never get on base. They line out to short right. They ground out. They just ground out and they just line out. I just, I had Ricky Henderson and he constantly lined out to short left field or short center field, whatever. I couldn't get a hit with him. Like, Ichiro, yeah, his vision's crazy, his contact's crazy, his power is atrocious. You're not hitting no dingers with Ichiro. Only, I, I could see him as a pitch hitter, maybe get on base, a pitch runner, but 
Matt Kemp is the better overall. He's got power. He's got contact. You could put him second, first, third, fourth. He's so versatile, and that's why I think he is the best. And, guys, let's head over to the big boy, level one. I know who I'm taking. Honestly, these guys are all studs, but I'm going to tell you why I think one of these players are the best, okay? We're going to start with Brooke Robinson, okay? Okay, he has 99 fielding. I don't give a crap, yo. You can have 70 fielding and still be a stud at fielding. His speed's terrible. His stealing's terrible. That's not good. Okay, his hitting. He has decent power, but for a 99, 80 power isn't the best. It's a 99 overall you're talking. The vision and the context there, once again, I don't think contact means anything in this game. It means absolutely freaking nothing. Absolutely nothing. The power is there. The vision is there. The card's decent. There's definitely way better options in this. I'm telling you right now, 100% better options. All right, Frank Thomas. Okay. His stats are unbelievable. I'm going to say this. Would I take him? Okay. So his fielding is garbage. His speed sucks. The hitting's crazy, but I could just show you one thing. I'm going to go over to his 87 card that I have. And the hitting's kind of similar. Not really that similar, but it's kind of similar. And let me tell you, the fielding and the speed is the same about... Like, you could go drop 15k versus having... You could drop 15k, pretty much have a similar card. It's like... It's like... I don't know. I feel like it's a waste of a 99. You have an 87 overall of him. I don't know. It's not a bad card at all, but... The 87 is too similar to take him. I'm just going to say that right now. That's what I think about that card. Okay. So, my number one option, while I would take this card, if the game stops lagging. Okay. Joe Morgan is my favorite one by far. It's just, look at the stats, okay? Why do I love this card? You can't ask for a better leadoff hitter in the game. He's the best leadoff hitter in the game. He could come out in the freaking game with the beautiful batting stance of the little elbow. The little elbow, he does a little elbow thing. Bro, this guy, look at the contact. The contact there, I don't think contact means a lot, but. Okay, this guy, he has 99 stealing, 94 speed, awesome fielding. He has a vision, uh, he has laser vision, and he has power. This is the best leadoff hitter in the game, and I love his batting stance. And he's a lefty. Guys, this card is unbelievable. When I get the silver one, this is the guy I'm choosing. He has no secondary positions, but a second baseman? What a second baseman? There's not a lot of good second basements in this game. He's literally the best one. Nah, I'm going to take this card no matter what happens.
helpful guys just come on show support and guys that's all i got for you today and you know what Peace! Hey, yo,